In this video, I am working on a piece of Bristol vellum paper that I have taped to my board that I'm working on. And I'm starting with fluid washes, uh, fluid acrylics in three different colors. I've got some golden fluid acrylic in yellow green. I have some F&W antelope brown ink, and I also have some golden magenta that I'm using. And I'm leaving some white spaces, and I'm starting with some wide brushes to get a nice underpainting going on my paper. Well, I've done a bit of drawing with some mark making materials like graphite, pastel, some charcoal, and I'm going over those marks with some matte medium right now. Um, that helps preserve those marks, and then I'm going to start painting over those. Well, I've decided to darken some areas with a tailor shape. It's a square, water-soluble um, drawing media. So I'm putting in some dark brown and going over that with a little water and matte medium to darken that up. I want to have some dark areas, some more colorful areas, and some open white areas. Now I'm going into that with a tool I really like to use, which is a silicone color shaper. I use those to mix paint, to apply paint, to scrape through paint. I really like those a lot, especially scraping through wet layers into dry layers below. So this first layer that I'm doing here with the drawing media and the fluid washes is really just to kind of get started and I know a lot of the things that I put down are going to be covered up later with some paint, but it really helps me get a variety of marks, of layers, of transparency, and then I start adding some opaque layers of paint later. And what I'm doing here is I am going over all of the mark making that I did over the fluid washes with some Liquitex matte medium and a nylon brush. That helps me preserve those marks so that I can paint over them later. Some of them will show through different layers and some won't. So I've dried this with my hair dryer to keep the paper flat and also helps me progress on to the next stage. And I'm gonna pick a limited selection of colors. I'm going to pick a magenta, yellow green, black, and white. And that will be the color scheme for my painting. And I'm going to mix all of those colors together in a variety of ways. And I'm going to work at applying paint with a variety of tools. I'm going to use a fan brush, color shaper, some other silicone tools to apply the paint, a round brush, flat brushes, and I'm going to try to create a variety of marks with different tools and also have some different areas and different layers of paint in this. And I'm really just going to try and work intuitively. Here are some of the tools that I'm going to use for this painting. I've got a catalyst, silicone shaper, I've got a sash brush, a round brush, a flat brush, my other silicone shapers. So I enjoy working with many different tools and I think that is the important thing that I've learned is if we want different kinds of marks, we have to use different tools in order to get those marks. I'm also going to use some satin glazing um, medium in order to get some transparent areas of color. I want to darken this 
painting in a little bit and so I'm going to mix that satin glazing medium with a little bit of black so that I can get some darker areas. Let's put that on. I'm not really thinking much about what I'm doing. But see that black almost made that color much like the permanent um, violet dark that I was going to use. So that's kind of nice. So I'm starting to add some more opaque marks with my brush and using a variety of brushes and moving that brush around and I've mixed my magenta with some white with some black to get a variety of different colors sometimes I put a little water in the paint to get a thinner layer so it's just been a lot of trial and error and playing with paint This is a new tool that I bought. Oh, I like that, how it's going through that, right there like that. You know, my attitude when I do something like this is it's all a throwaway until it isn't. Loosen up some of those edges there. Nice big fat filbert. I like this brush. I think I need to get this, I think I need to get the green, kind of with the paper towel. We can move this paint around. We can put paint down with all sorts of different things, but there we go with the paper towel. <clears throat> That's the fun thing with paint is, that I like is, what are all the different ways we can put some paint down? It doesn't always have to be with the brush. It can be with different things. Use this paper towel again. I kind of like the, the colors I'm getting here. And I think I'm going to go in with some longer, thinner brushes. Hmm. Well. That wasn't something I had planned, but I just decided to do it. Um, let's try this kind of a brush. Some of this yellow green. See, the fluid acrylic that I had down was really the same color that I'm putting down here. Now, I think one of the things I'm going to try. Well, this is a condensed version of a video that I made for my recent Zoom workshop. And I thought I would post portions of it here for you to see. But you can see that I used a lot of different kinds of things to get started and uh, my intention too was to use a lot of different 
kinds of mark making. Mark making with drawing media, different kinds of marks with different brushes, different sizes of brushes, and color shapers, which are you can find in any art supply catalog or online. So I really like to use those. I mix paint with them, and I also apply paint with them. So just really trying to get a lot of different marks on this piece, and I really do like the color combination of yellow green and red violet. It really is a favorite. So I'll probably use this. I have a couple of paintings I'm going to do soon, and I think I will use these colors in the painting that I'm going to do. So hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it helps you when you are working on acrylic paintings.